the way that things are done at the acting center is um, drastically different from any class that I've ever taken because in the acting center, the parts that make up the whole of uh, the skill and the art of acting are all broken down and drilled separately and drilled for you, for your own sake, without anyone else's interference on what is right or wrong. And in that way, you end up kind of expanding beyond what you thought your range was, and you find that the things that were your faults or your weak points, they just kind of smooth themselves out because you don't have anyone pointing them out and making you feel bad about yourself and less inspired about it. It's just an a completely inspiring experience where you get to progress through all the parts of it as you know at the pace that you like. In the last six months I noticed a big change which is funny I mean I've been acting for you know 15 years and all of a sudden I've, I've felt at different points in my life like oh now I get it <laughs> but I had another one of those where there, I had a little breakthrough and I felt like oh now I get it because I was applying these principles toward my auditions and there were a lot of them in succession so I got to really work on applying it and applying it and not thinking about it just doing it and um, and finding ways to you know really understand the distinctions between these characters and treat them as real people with the respect that you would give a real person the way that someone you know does a biopic and really wants to do that person justice is I feel the same way about all these characters from the way that I've been studying in this class. I personally have an interest in finding humor in things that's a part of um, that's a part of acting that I'd like to develop in myself, and I found that happening with this. I use this technique for the first time in its full capacity at work. And when I first started taking the class, I went to work and I tried it, and I was like, "Wow, this is new and interesting." Um, but then I'd been in class a little bit longer and went back to work. I really noticed last year on this movie that I did, um, it was extremely emotional. Uh, a very emotional character and a very emotional storyline that she had. And I noticed that I didn't have to contrive any of the emotion or manipulate it, which is fascinating to experience and really exciting because I felt like every, at the beginning of every scene, it was like stepping off a cliff and I just had to trust it <clears throat> because normally you know, there's something that an actor has in their back pocket to kind of, just in case, you know? And it's some horrible experience or some hypothetical horrible experience or, you know, biting off the inside of your cheek or whatever it is. And I, I just decided to let everything go and just trust the character, trust her to live truthfully through those moments. And it was, it was wild. It was really wild because like I said, it was like, stepping off the cliff, but it just worked every time. And it was such a distinction between her and I that I wasn't upset by it. She was very upset by it. And back and forth, you know, between action and cut, she was upset after cut. I was thrilled because I was having a great time and it was all working. And, uh, and it, a lot of people commented like, how did you just do that like you were just crying and now you're not and then you were not crying and now you are like what what just happened there and I was like the best way that I can explain is she's upset and I'm not <laughs>